Hello, beautiful people. Today, a message came through from Source when I was really tuning in to my, my God spark, my future ascended self, and Source. I do that in the shower a lot. I just do some toning, and then at least a download comes through. And it was an important message about bypassing. Now, this is a, a topic that has, I think, originated in the 80s by a psychologist who was also a, a Buddhist. Uh, the idea of emotional bypassing passing, and spiritual bypassing. Uh, this wasn't really on my mind, but all of a sudden uh, down it came and I did an automatic writing on it from source, how I do things. So um, instead of me trying to paraphrase and stuff, I'm just going to read exactly what came through about this whole thing about bypassing. Now, emotional bypassing and spiritual bypassing, kind of similar things. Uh, so what I'd like to go over today is kind of what those things are, what emotional and spiritual bypassing are. Then I want to, to read to you what came through from source that I think is uh, really pertinent to how we treat each other um, around this topic. Hey guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for listening. And um, we are here. We are remembering our greatness together. The topic today is bypassing. So if you have anything to say about that, I know it's kind of a charged topic these days. Let me hear in the comments. We are here to remember our greatness together and to just really dive deep into a topic so we can raise our vibration high and really commit to being the light on the planet. All right, so beautiful people, if you like topics like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and uh, ring that bell, okay? That will uh, get this content out to more people. Thank you so much. So let's dive in. Emotional bypassing is basically when you are feeling an emotion, yet refuse or feel scared or, um, yeah, refuse or feel scared to emote. So laugh, cry, uh, get angry. And so and a lot of that bypassing has to do with our thoughts around um, being shamed or punished or it's, it's a psychological realm, okay, if you will. And that'll make sense later when I do the, when I read to you the, the download. So basically, uh, being unable to express or choosing not to express, but staying in the realm of thought and psychology. And that's emotional bypassing. And we just refuse to move energy with emotions. Spiritual bypassing is using spiritual terms and concepts and practices to um, not feel our emotions. And this might make sense as well in, in, in this download. So the idea that you can spiritually work through this emotional state. Um, so let's get into what came through in the message today, because I think it'll shed light on both these things. All right, I'm just going to read it. So uh, here we go. Message from source about bypassing. You are a magnificent being of light, no greater or less than the source of all. Yet, you pretend and play these realities out as if you are not. It is just a creation. You are playing out if it suits you to play. Yet, bypassing doesn't exist in the realm of oneness. There is just oneness. So when you are in a moment of living in emotion or going through a play of energy, you have choice to be whatever you choose. Everything is energy. You create with it. All, all exists because of how slow or fast you make it go. Yet making energy go fast, faster doesn't negate that it went slow at one point in time such as taking a scenic bypass, doesn't make the long way through the city not exist. It is just a choice. Which do you prefer and which do you follow? There is no right or wrong about this. 
most of you are playing in a psychological reality, a ra reality that humans have created that is based in an over-focused mind. There is an energy that has a certain rate of vibration there, a frequency. If you play in the field of psychology, then you will have to play with those rules because the thoughts from the mind keep the energy going in those frequencies, much like if you did take the non-scenic route through the city, you would have to use those driving rules, right? And you would not be able to use the driving rules of like free fast driving as you would in the scenic bypass. So each one has a set of frequency rules. If you play in the field of psychology, then you will have to play with those rules because the thought, thoughts from the mind keep the energy going in those frequencies. You may also jump to the next ring of frequency. Imagine a model of concentric circles. So it looks like this. Here's our story. Here's the field of psychology. Here's the field of spirituality. Here's the field of oneness. All of them are us, and yet we break it into these small little rings. So, all right. There is a psychological ring of frequency, and outside that ring is a spiritual ring, if you will. And that ring is a different rate of vibration. When you play there, you can shift things quicker and play with the frequency scale there. All bypassing is, is a choice to play in a different frequency. The discomfort comes in when spiritual fre frequencies try to play with psychological frequencies. It is two different realities, yet the same. It's like speaking the language of Spanish to someone who is Chinese. They don't translate until you learn the language and the culture. When you are playing in the field of psychology and refuse to flow energy that way, yet don't choose to raise your vibration to another circle of frequency, you get a sensation of stuckness. The energy has slowed enough that it feels stuck and stopped. Encouraging that to start moving through tears, laughter, movement, connection, prayer, singing allows the energy to move again and the frequency to be able to raise. Shaming each other either way is a creation of being stuck in the center of the circle, in the story, the slowest of the vibration. All is just a choice. Shamers say don't bypass. Shamers saying bypass. What is required is just allowance and energy will free up. Remember, all of this universe is a play of energy in creation to expand energy. All is allowed. Your job is not to judge the creations, yet be an allowance of it and choose where you want to play. So that just came through um, in a quick writing. And um, I thought it was very interesting. Um, and so if if our job is to just create with energy and be an allowance, then all this shaming that's going on with the polarity of, you know, people that buy into bypassing and people say, no, don't bypass. It's like, if there's two, it's, there's polarity within this psychological and spiritual model as is, as, as, as it goes, like, you know, a lot of times spiritual models create polarity, look at religions and stuff like that. And it's the exact thing that we are seeking away from, right? So it's like we're seeking freedom, we're seeking oneness, right? We're seeking the oneness. And in looking for oneness, sometimes we create more polarity and right and wrong. And really with all of this, there is no right and wrong. There is no good and bad. And when we are judging and shaming others, we're, we're, we're in that little center circle of the story. Everything is contracted. So whether you are in um, the, the spiritual circle, right? Saying that, you know, shaming the psychological circle for just, you know, just, 
just let it go. Just choose up here. Or whether you're in the psychological circle saying, what's going on? You can't just choose. You have to process, you know, like it's just, it's just people are in different frequencies. And so being in allowance and speaking to that. So a really, a good example that I just played with yesterday is I was with some friends and, um, you know, one of us was in a psychological uh, ring and was using, talking about uh, pharmaceuticals. And one of us was in a spiritual ring talking about energy work. And it, it's just so happened that the, the frequencies of talking about energy work wasn't landing. And so it's just, you just change the topic. <laughs> the person that was talking about the psychological stuff and so pharmaceuticals, um, the person in the uh, spiritual perspective was like, oh, let's just play here. Let's just play here in the psychological, pharmaceutical. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll pass this information on to someone I know. Um, the person playing in the, psycho uh, the spiritual realm, uh, frequencies was like talking about some stuff and it just wasn't being heard. It wasn't landing. It was speaking Spanish to uh, Chinese speaking people. So, you know, you don't judge it. You don't, you, you just say, move on and, and offer a different, you know, get the language you do know. And, you know, it's a good thing that we know lots of different languages energetically. Okay. So it's a really good thing, I think, to learn, to know how to play in the fields of different and frequency languages with people. Uh, and it keeps us from shaming people and it keeps us from, it keeps us just enjoying each other's company. Oh, we're playing here today. Okay, great. Oh, we're playing here today. Oh, great. Oh, we're playing here today. Great. And so we don't have to shame people. Um, I remember when my father passed five years ago, uh, people were really not that nice to me about um, actually smiling. Uh, so I remember um, going through lots of waves of grief. And when the waves of grief came, I would move them with dance and singing and lots of tears. But the waves only lasted like in 10 minute increments or 15 minute increments. So then the rest of the time, I just allowed myself to be me and, and be be in my joy. And I remember uh, people thinking that I was bypassing and that I had a plastic smile. They actually, someone said this, uh, actually a good friend of mine who I'm not really close to anymore said I had a plastic smile on my face. And yet everyone who talked about the bypassing never actually asked me how I was doing or asked how I was working through this. They just wanted to shame me and judge me. So that's a choice. That's interesting. Um, it wasn't going to change how I was going through this because I was, I really wanted to be happy even though my father passed and he was my best friend, but you know, it's okay. Life happens. They didn't ask that, um, about how I was working through it, that the waves of grief, deep grief did come and that I would spend a lot of my time moving it when it did come. However, um, no one asked that question. Okay, we only see the outside and we're like, wow, someone just went through something intense. They should be feeling something how I would define that they should be feeling it. And that's not really helpful. Um, this has happened a lot to me in my life. Um, my parents divorced or when my mom left when I was 16 or when um, I had a, a major huge breakup after 10 years and that person, uh, they got pregnant right away. So, you know, I've always worked with things in my way and moved things in my way. And to other people, it seemed like I was bypassing. It seemed like I was being happy when there was kind of a traumatic situation happening. And, you know, the thing is, guys, the biggest thing that we can do for each other is to let go of judgment. Uh, let people be. Let people go through what they're going through and the way that they go through. And even if you are, like uh, that writing said, you're in the psychological realm and sometimes you have to follow those frequencies. Uh, 
you know, even if you are there and you actually are doing something that is bypassing emotions and the energy is getting stuck, like, you know what the greatest teacher to that is? Awareness. Awareness of that stuck energy. That stuck energy gets big enough, someone's going to make a choice to do something different. So, you know, it's kind of analogous to parenting teens. Like, you just have to watch them go through some really uncomfortable stuff and you have to allow them to go through it because with that contrast comes awareness, comes awakening. So to get on people's case and judge them around uh, bypassing or not bypassing, like how which on whichever pole of the spectrum, of the polarity spectrum, we're we're shaming and judging. Uh, I think I think this was well said in here. Is just we just have to be an allowance of where people are. And um, speak the language, speak the language of what's in front of us and uh, let go of the rest. And I know this is a charged topic for some people. Feel free to put your comments in there and let me know. Let me know how this landed with you. Um, this was interesting. This was interesting. These three pages that came through so quickly. Um, and I definitely have um, my perspectives about it too and my experiences about it. So what experience do you have uh, about being judged that you were uh, emotionally bypassing or spiritually bypassing? Or what judgments do you have that someone made that you should be bypassing these heavy frequencies and you should be jumping to the next loop? Uh, you know, all that judgment and shame, it's just two ends of a stick of polarity and what if we could just let go of the judgment and shame and be an allowance of how each of us processes things differently than each other all right beautiful people thanks for joining me here as always thanks for joining the tribe be sure to like subscribe and uh, ring that bell and welcome welcome to the high vibe tribe